Hello again everyone and uh, welcome back to Japan Vintage Camera. I'm coming to you from Hinokicho Park. It's about 8.30 in the morning on Thursday morning. A uh, nice quiet day at the park uh, except for the birds uh, who have been playing around me in the morning. Uh, kids aren't up yet so it's uh, a lot quieter than it normally is at the park. Uh, cherry blossoms are almost in full bloom. Uh, so I imagine the park will be quite busy this weekend of people coming for picnics. Uh, normally we have a cherry blossom party uh, every year, Hanami party, but uh, most of our friends have returned home to their home countries. Which uh, many of them kind of regret now because they, they've kind of left Tokyo uh, for safety to go to their home countries. And now they, most of them find themselves locked down or under like self-isolation. Whereas here in Tokyo, uh, things are pretty much normal. There are no lockdowns or uh, orders to stay in place. The schools are closed and people are working staggered hours or working from home. But otherwise, things are normal. Uh, all the shops and stores and restaurants are still open. Uh, business is slower than normal, but at least there's still business. Uh, so people can still uh, um, hopefully pay their bills. Anyway. Uh, today's video is going to be about used camera stores in Tokyo and specifically uh, used camera stores in Shinjuku. I don't really have time to make a video about all the used camera stores in Tokyo, so I'm limiting this video to the stores which I frequently visit. Now, these stores are on the west side of Shinjuku Station. Uh, Shinjuku Station is one of the major uh, business, retail, and entertainment hubs in Tokyo and also popular with tourists. Uh, it's quite easy to find. It's located on the Yamanote train line. Uh, you can also uh, find it on the Chuo train line, uh, the Shinjuku uh, subway, uh, the Oedo subway, or the Odakyu train lines. Uh, quite easy to get to from pretty much any part of Japan. Uh, the shops I like to go to are located on the west side of Shinjuku station. And this is quite easy to find. You just follow the signs to where it says west exit. And the west side is uh, quite famous for these uh, large circular driveways which run from the street level to the ground level uh, where the taxis go to pick up and drop off people. This is one of uh, Japan's more famous landmarks what was finished back in 1957 or so. Uh, behind this, uh, uh, to the rear of where I'm, I took this uh, video of the west side of the station is the Yodobashi Camera Complex. Uh, Yodobashi Camera is a large uh, retailer in Japan and they have stores around the country. Uh, their headquarters is located here on the west side of Shinjuku Station and they own a number of buildings uh, where they sell uh, cameras, uh, bicycles, liquor, computers, uh, you name it, they, they sell it here and each building is dedicated to uh, a specific item. Uh, there's a, a building for uh, phone, smartphones and phone cases, phone accessories, uh, tablet computers and things like that. The basement floor is the liquor store and uh, uh, bicycle store. Uh, there's a large building which is de dedicated to uh, uh, computers, uh, computer accessories, uh, computer parts, gaming computers, things like that. Uh, the best building, of course, is the camera building, uh, which is, uh, I think, six or seven stories tall. And each di different floor is de dedicated to different types of photography. Uh, consumer, there's a consumer floor on the first floor. The second floor is for pro DSLRs. The third floor, I believe, is for medium and larger formats. And the floors above that are for tripods, camera bags, and accessories. Uh, <clears throat> located next to this building, if you're walking down the alleyway by Yodobashi and you pass the McDonald's, on your right side you'll see a Saizaria Italian restaurant. I use the word Italian uh, loosely when I talk about Saizaria. And you go down this alleyway and on the left side is one of Tokyo's best film stores. Uh, they have every kind of film available here from the 35mm, 124x5 and 8x10. Uh, not to mention developing chemicals and uh, bottles and darkroom equipment. Uh, if you love film, uh, this store is uh, you know, heaven on earth. It's, they've got a lot of good stuff. <clears throat> but uh, today's video is about <clears throat> used camera shops and I'm going to be talking uh, about the four shops which I usually visit. Uh, on the main street, which runs between the Yodobashi buildings, and uh, I call this uh, Kamara Street, you can identify it as the main street because if you look to the uh, west, uh, or southwest, uh, you'll see the large hotel and government complex buildings on the skyline. And there are a number of camera shops located on this street. Uh, the first one which I usually visit is called Kitamura Camera, which is located in this building. 
Uh, the used camera shop or film camera shop is located on the fourth floor. Uh, the entrance is a little bit difficult to see because it's kind of a small door and it's often hidden behind the sandwich board signs and things like that. Uh, just go in the door, go up the elevator to the fourth floor <clears throat> and you'll find the camera shop on your right. I don't go to this camera shop so much anymore because now it's focused mainly on uh, tourists and because it is uh, now they're selling mostly high-end and more expensive stuff and though they do have a good selection of film cameras they ask a lot of money for them so this isn't the place I would go to if uh, I was looking for a good deal on a film camera but if you're looking for a good deal on a digital camera or a lens for your digital camera uh, this is a great place to go the only thing that I, I shop for here is when I need a, a Leica lens so I was really hunting for a nice uh, 35 millimeter uh, Type 4 Summicron for my, uh, my MP and I found one here in really good condition for a good price. And I think that's the last thing I bought from this store that was a couple of years ago. But uh, it, it's still an interesting place to look and uh, they also have some pretty good accessories in here. Uh, yesterday I found uh, a Gitso uh, video uh, tripod head uh, which they were asking about $150 for which is about you know a good $300 tripod head if I didn't already have a good uh, one I, I'd, have, I'd have bought it but uh, yeah uh, a good place if you have a chance you should come here and check it out and yes they do accept credit cards uh, when you leave Kitamura camera and go back out onto camera street if you look across the way on your left you'll see map camera and Map Camera is a really cool store, especially if you're a Leica fan. Uh, they're a Leica authorized dealer, and on the basement level, you'll find the Leica store. They have a, a really good selection of uh, uh, new and used Leica cameras. And my best deal here, I got a repainted uh, Leica M3 double stroke, which someone had uh, done a pretty good job painting on. They just stripped all the chrome off and did a decent job on the black paint. It was uh, pretty well used and, and brassy and, and all that and I got it from this shop for you know, $300. You know, uh, uh, it, it just uh, the top cover I could have gotten $300 for reselling it. Uh, so sometimes they have deals like that when they come in. Uh, it's also a good place where they have um, uh, the high-end uh, Nikon rangefinders. If you're looking for an SP Limited or S3 2000 or something like that, they have a good selection at this uh, store. Uh, the upper four floors, uh, the first floor is dedicated to wrist watches. I'd never go there. I'm not interested in watches. Uh, the floors above that are for Nikon and Canon. Each has its own floor. And then the other two floors are for uh, a mix of uh, like Konica, Minolta, Sony, and other brands. And they usually have some good film cameras mixed in on these floors and uh, lenses and things like that. And I often find really good deals uh, here. I got a, a really nice Pentax LX. Nice and ugly and beat up but cheap for uh, about uh, $100. So uh, sometimes you can find uh, stuff like that here. Uh, if I leave map camera and I turn right and I go to the end of camera street, there's an intersection there. And on the left is a 7-Eleven and on the right uh, is uh, a building where my one of my favorite shops is. It's called Camera Box. You'll see uh, a small sign located uh, by the sidewalk which says Camera Box I, you know, in yellow with a picture of a camera on it. Uh, there's a kind of a hole in the wall or maybe a hole in the ground shop is a better way to describe it. Uh, you go inside and you follow the steps down to uh, uh, the basement level and you'll find the Camera Box store. And I like Camera Box because they have a, a huge selection of all kinds of film related cameras and junk. Uh, if I need a hard to find camera case, I'll find it here. And camera cases, sometimes they give them away for free. They have boxes full of them outside the door. Just take what you like. Uh, inside the store uh, are cases full of all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, the cases in the back are what they have uh, junk cameras. And if I'm looking for, I need a top cover or a clean lens element or a working shutter or something like that, I'll usually come to this shop and hunt around in here. And more often than not, I can find it though things can be quite buried. They, uh, it's, uh, it's like some stuff you, you just simply can't find because it's buried. Uh, if you like, uh, you know, they may give you the key and let you look through a case and get stuff out. Just be careful not to drop anything. Yeah, if you break it, you bought it. But uh, yeah, uh, a great store. Uh, leaving camera box, uh, going back up the street, I turn right and I go down the sidewalk a short distance, maybe 50 or maybe 100 feet or so, and there's an alleyway on the right side. And you can usually spot this alleyway because it's full of people smoking, despite the fact that there are no smoking signs plastered on the walls up and down this uh, alleyway. 
Walking down this alleyway on the left side is a real hole in the wall shop. And this is my favorite used camera shop in Tokyo. It's called Shinjuku Chuko Camera, which means a Shinjuku used camera. Uh, the shop is located on the uh, second floor up the stairs. And I like the shop. It's not uh, as eclectic or cluttered as camera box, but they have some really good stuff in Shinjuku used camera. Uh, they, uh, the first case you'll see as you go in is kind of like the new arrivals case and they always have some really interesting things there and often really good prices. If you're looking for a, a limited uh, edition or rare or high, hard to find camera or then you'll find it here for a better price than you'll find it in most other places. However, this shop does not accept credit cards. Uh, camera box, which I was talking about before, uh, uh, just, uh, you know, they do accept credit cards, though, you know, it might not be obvious. But here at uh, the Shinjuku used camera, um, I, I often come here because they, they like to mix in really good deals. It's, it's like a, a treasure hunt going in here. Sometimes they'll, they'll put something in really nice for an absurdly low price. And uh, uh, I guess this motivates people to come in regularly and hunt around the shop and, uh, and keep coming back. For example, I found a Toyo Super Graphic uh, 4x5 press camera here in like new condition for $100, or about one-fifth what it's actually worth. And another time I found a really nice Polaroid 190 uh, instant film camera. This is the pro level Polaroid camera. And I got it for $100 and uh, uh, that was an outstanding deal. Uh, it's about one third or one fourth what it's worth. And then the other time I came in here, I actually found an Aeriflex uh, 16 with the motor attached to it in, in reasonable working condition. The price was only $75. I mean, when was the last time you saw an Aeriflex for $75? It's kind of like an eye cup for a rare Aeriflex is $75. So really good stuff. Uh, I always recommend people visit this shop. Uh, they don't speak uh, English here or at Camera Box or at uh, Kitamura Camera for that matter. But all you have to do is just point and, and they'll get the idea. Uh, when I leave uh, Shinjuku used camera, I turn left and I go to the end of the alleyway and I turn right. And I walk back to Camera Street and I turn left and walk to the intersection where Kitamura camera is. And I turn right again and walk up a, a short distance. There's a game center and restaurants on the right. And uh, in the next major intersection is a place called Lemon Sha, which is a Japanese for lemon company. And this is one of the well-known used camera shops in Tokyo. Uh, they're located on the third floor of this building, and the entrance to the building is next to the drugstore on the first floor. A little bit hard to find, and believe it or not, the secret headquarters to the Burger King Company in Tokyo is located uh, in this building. Uh, Lemon Sha is in, in Shinjuku, uh, they often have some pretty good stuff. I, I found a nice black paint Canon 7 camera here for $200 once. And I often find uh, Mamiya press accessories here for a good price, film backs and things like that. Uh, they also accept credit cards. Uh, they have a pretty good selection of Leica and rangefinder cameras. And also they uh, sell cameras which have been uh, overhauled by a couple of the local uh, camera technicians. So often you can find uh, a decent, uh, you know, a garden variety, say Minolta, Konica, or whatever kind of rangefinder camera, which has been overhauled and is in good working shape. Uh, the prices are uh, more than what I usually sell them for, but uh, but still a great place to visit. Uh, <clears throat> this uh, area on the west side of Shinjuku is uh, really a, a great place to to come and look around and spend some time. It's also a great place for taking pictures. The the alleyways and streets have a lot to offer if you like uh, photography. Uh, it's a great place to buy cameras, take photos, buy film, and even get your film processed if you like. If you're using Fujifilm, you can have it done in an hour or so. There are places here that still do it. Uh, Kodak and other films take, of course, more time. If you're shooting Tri-X or a slide film, that'll take uh, a bit longer. But uh, yeah, it's about as close to camera heaven as you can come to uh, in Tokyo. So uh, yeah, I had a wonderful day uh, uh, in Shinjuku hunting around. I didn't buy a lot. My purpose of visiting was just mainly to get the video footage. However, I did get uh, a Konica uh, uh, Auto S 1.6. Uh, it was only a thousand yen. I got it at Camera Box and I took a risk on it. So for one thousand yen, you know, uh, I don't have much to lose if it doesn't work. So, so at least I got something uh, uh, for the for the trip to show for it, other than the video. 
anyway uh, that's it for my video about used camera stores in uh, Tokyo uh, if you're looking for a, a used camera and you can't come all the way to Tokyo please check out my Etsy and eBay stores I'll post links to my stores in the description below the video if you have any uh, questions about uh, camera shops in Tokyo or cameras or film photography or the cameras I sell, uh, feel free to ask in the comments section. I'll be uh, making more videos about cameras and photography and such in the future, so if you're interested in seeing these, uh, please subscribe. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope you tune in again soon.